so 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 uh this is one of the issues that that uh, that uh one of the main issues that kind of turned me atheist uh and if you're a friend of mine or, or an acquaintance of mine you've probably heard me talk about this but i haven't really talked about it much on uh on like youtube uh and that's the issue of free will when it comes to an all-knowing god um right if god is all-knowing how is there free will um it, it's it, it doesn't seem to make much sense right um just from the fact that if if he knows uh if he knows what you're going to do then you don't really have much of a free choice in in making that decision right so if god is all-knowing he knows that i'm gonna pick up this guitar pick right now okay now now if I had a choice to not pick up this guitar pick, if there was any possibility that I, instead of picking up this guitar pick, I picked up this soda cap, God would then no longer be all-knowing, right? He would cease to be all-knowing. So there's, there's like a contradiction playing out. Uh, and uh, that goes so it goes so deep in that, like, so a lot of people will make this argument that, like, well, okay, so... God just knows you so well that he knows that you that you were going to pick up that guitar pick but you had but your free will uh but you picked your you picked up the guitar pick within with your own free will right um and again this circles back to the original sort of point right even if there was a 0 0.0.1, you know, like just like a fraction percent of a chance that I that I could have picked up the the uh, a, a mouse instead of the guitar pick or some headphones instead of the guitar pick. Uh, God is not all knowing. He's just mostly knowing. If there's any fraction of a percent of a chance that I did not pick up that guitar pick. If if God had if God had any ounce of uh, of unknowingness, God is no longer all knowing. Um, the best the best argument against this would probably be something like. Uh, The, the logic, the logic of God is a diff different than the logic of humanity, and human. And so, in order to understand this sort of uh, uh, um, issue, um, we need to use some sort of higher, higher law, uh, where, where it's possible to, to where, where that sort of thing is possible. But as far as like, uh, like logic, a. Uh, 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 within our like uh, ability to perceive uh, our modern day world uh, not in in god's higher higher spiritual law or whatever um, i don't see how how any of any of this is possible to have an to have an all-knowing god and also have free will it doesn't make any sense to me uh yeah so i'm just throwing that out there uh, a, a lot of uh a lot of religions claim that free will exists, um, and they also claim that God is all all knowing, uh, and I have no idea how the, how this is possible. Um, and and this this actually brings up a really another interesting point is that like if if God is all knowing, um, he know he knows. This sort of assumes that that, that that God is creating people that he knows are going to hell and eternal damnation, right? Uh, he knows this. He's all-knowing. He knows this person is going to hell. And uh, that's a really, yeah, I think people should ponder on that. Um 
God, if you're if if you're not going to be saved, right? Assuming Christianity is true, you're not going to be saved. Um, you are going to you know sin, and you, and and you're going to suffer. God knows this. Um, yeah, I, something. Th yeah. Think about that. Yeah.